Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social this side and this is continuation of Power BI projects. So today we are going to see a very important topic that is decomposition tree. So by using decomposition tree, we'll see about the organization structure. Like here you can see in the left side the total number of employees that is 309. Once we click on that, then it will move to forward and here we have details for the countries next we click on any country then it will move to city so here we have all these cities and here as we have selected this united states so this line between the total employees and countries is highlighted as orange and if we click on next then it will move to department so here we have three departments first is production then finance and next so here once we click on the department then we can see the gender so in the production department the total male employee is 31 and female employee is 11 now click on that so it will move to next and here we can see the names so these are the employee names and once we hover the mouse on that name then we can see the marital status of this is single and the email id of that employee is this and once we move to next employee then we can see single and email id of that now let me click on the india so once we select india then we can see the noida now click on noida so here we have engineering department only so click on that now here we can see the male and female employees so in the male employees nine and in the female again nine so here we can see the Alok Kumar, Arpish Summer and many more. Once we hover the mouse, then we can see the marital status of these employees. So this is married. And next we can see the married. So this is single. And here we have three filters. First is country, second is city, next is department name. So once we click on country and let me select for United Kingdom, then everything will be removed so this filter will be applicable for this tree structure now we can see these cities so we have only one city so let me select united states so on that we have multiple cities now here we can see all these cities so let me select few of them and here click on the country so here we will see only three cities because we have applied the filter next is department name so in the department name we can see we have a lot of options so let me select for sales and production now click on the city so it will move to production and sales for this location and let me select for another so production and here we can see the sales next we can drill down for the gender and names as we seen before in the left top we can see the logo of the company so here I have put my logo that is SS Unitech and this is a text box which is written the organization structure and all these filters so basically how we can create this and what are the advantages of using this for example we want to see the detailed information for this so we can also get that one so how we can get that we can select this after that we can click on the right side on more options here we can see the export data so once we'll create this visualization then we'll see that option as well so that is also very important so let me open a new power bi so it will take few seconds for that time let's have a look of source file so our source file is the excel file and it is having the data for the employees so here we have business entity id that is employee id then national id number then name then birth date and many more column which is available in the master file so this is the source data and here we can see the num number of employees that is 309 so first row is the header row so total number of employees 308 now go to the power bi and let me close this if you have updated version of the power bi then you can directly get the decomposition tree inside the visualizations 
if you don't have the updated version then you cannot see over here so don't worry for that go to on the files and go to on the options and settings then go to on the option after that here you can see the preview feature so go to on the preview feature here you cannot see that option for the decomposition tree because i have the updated version of the power bi so here you will see an option to enable that one so you can check that checkbox and click on ok after that restart your power bi desktop and you will see the decomposition tree right inside the visualizations the first thing we need to get the data from the source so for that we can click on the get source then excel we need to select that master table so we can click and open so it will take few seconds so we can wait and here we can see the first table that is employee master so we can select that one and after that we can click on load so it will be successfully loaded in our power bi desktop so now inside the fields we can see the employee master that is required to us the first thing that i told you we need to get the logo of our company so how we can get that one so for that go to on the insert and after that here you can see an option to image so we can click on that so here we need to select that image and click on open so it will be added now we can place where we want so we can place on the left top so here we have the logo the next thing that we are required to have the text box that would have the organization structure on that so we can place right after the logo and we can set same from the bottom and we can expand it on the right side and in this we can write the organization structure organization structure now we can select it and here we can format as Arial and let me increase the size as 36 that might be good and we can place on the middle so now it looks good the next thing that we have the three filters so three slicers are required so first will be the country second will be the city and last will be the department so we can click on the slicer and here we can put on the right after this text box so we can make it smaller and try to make it smaller from the bottom as well and try to be smaller from the right side now we need to drag and drop the country from this table so here we have this country so we can drag and drop inside the fields so now it looks good and here we don't want to see in the list we want to see in the drop down so we can make that change over here the next thing that we need to do the formatting for this so go to on the selection control first here we want to see the select all options so we can enable that one and after that go to on the background color so we want to change the background color of this so first of all i would suggest you can go to on the slicer header and here you can see the background so we can change that one so let me change that as dark blue i guess and go to on the font color let me make as white and here we can increase the text size if required so that might be good now we can see all these countries are available the next thing that we want we want to enable the border of this so we can go to on the border and enable that one and here go to on the radius and try to make it as something like 25 i guess that is good now we can copy this and paste one more time so this is for the country and next will be the city i guess we have increased a lot of radius so we can decrease that so that might be good so 
go to on the border and try to make that radius as 10 I guess that much better select that go to on the home go to on the format and make the format as M so that is for city so here we can see the country so delete that one drag and drop the city right inside the fields now let me copy this and paste one more time and this will be the department so select the city and the last one we need to remove that one and this time it should be department name so that looks good we have applied all these filters which is available on our existing dashboard the next thing that we want decomposition tree so we need to select that one and here we can make it bigger and make it bigger on the left side then top and bottom as well now here we can see the analyze so in the analyze we need to use the aggregated value by which we wanna the analyze so for that we need to get the national identity number so we can drag and drop inside the analyze and here we need to click on that and go to on the count so we can see the 308 that was available before after that in the explain by we need to add the detail part of this so first we want to see the country so we can drag the country and drop right there and here we can see the plus symbol so we can click on that and here we can see the country so we can click on that so country will be added right after this next we need to add the city so we can drag and drop the city and here we can see again plus symbol so we can click on that and here we can make it city the next we need to add the department name so we can see the department name right here so we can drag and drop in the explain by and here we can see the plus symbol so we can click on that and here the department name the next thing that we need to drag and drop is gender so here we can see the gender so we can drag that and drop inside the explain by and last that will be the name so we can drag the name and drop it here in the plus we can click on that and here it should be gender and the last that should be the name so we can see the name so here we have created this basic decomposition tree but we need to do the formatting for that so the first thing that i would suggest to use the background color of this so go to on the format and here go to on the bottom and here we can see the background so as of now it is white so we can place as it is and the transparency we can set as we want so this is the background color of that the next thing that i would suggest to use the border of this so we can open the border and here we can see the radius so we can increase the radius as 10 or 11 i guess so that looks good so these are highlighted in the light blue so we want to change it as orange so go to the format again and here we can see the tree so we can open that the primary color so this is the primary color which is basically showing the between these two nodes that is the count of national identity number and the country so this node so this is the primary color so we can change that as well so click on that and go to on the custom color and here we can make it as orange so we can see it is highlighted in orange the first thing that we have done the second thing that is deselected connectors so that should be in i guess black so we can see this is right there that looks good or we can make it little bit lighter now it looks good after that go to on the down and here we can see the data bars so we can open that here we can see the positive bars and negative bars 
so we can click on that and let me change it as orange so these has been updated so we can see all these in the orange and if we'll have any negative bars then we can also change the color for that as well now go to on the bottom and here we can see the category labels so we can also set the category labels so let me change the font family for this as Arial and here let me increase the text size of this so now we can see it is 11 now it is much more visible and readable for us now go to on the next option that is data labels so in the data labels we can scroll down a little bit and here we can increase the size so the size we can see these data labels that is the numbers it is gonna increasing one by one once we are increasing the text size so let me make it as 10 that looks good now go to on the next option the next option is tree header if we want to put anything in the tree header then we can do that so here we can see the background color that is white so we don't want to make it white let me make it light blue i guess so that is this one not looks good now try to make it light yellow so now it much better so we can also make those changes right here so these are the options available by which we can split it out as our requirement so here we can see the count of national identity number we don't want to see that one we want to see the total employee so we can go to on the analyze and this is the column name so let me rename that one and call this as total employee so this is the total employee so it is updated as total employee and once we click on the total employee then it will move forward and if we click on the India then we can see the NOIDA once we click on NOIDA then we can see the department name is engineering then we can see the gender and we can see the names right here and here we can see the top side we are having this lock option so as of now once we click on this then this will be deleted so we don't want to delete that so we can click on lock level after that lock then lock then lock and lock the last option once we locked then we can see the right side the cross button is gone so now we cannot cancel it as we want so we cannot cancel it if we want the next thing if we want to see the detailed data for this so we can also see that one how we can do that so here select this decomposition tree and go to on the right top we can see the more options so click on that here we can see the export data once we click on the export data then it will ask where we want to see so this will be the csv file that is fine and click on save so it will be saved on that location so go to on that location and here we can see the data dot csv now let me open that one and here we can see this is the detailed data behind that decomposition tree so we can export and we can see if we want so this is that we have developed and in the previous we have this one so here we can see the highlighted one it is like a curve not the straight line so go to on actual and here this is the curve so we can select that one and if we want to change that option so we can go to on the tree and scroll down here we can see the connector shape so if we'll change the round so it will be round and previous it was default so we can change if you want in the density here we can see the default and we can change that as well like dense or we can change as sparse so now it is sparse much better i guess so this is the same as we have in the existing report so guys i hope you have understand how we can create this decomposition tree and how we can export the base data by using this and this is very useful while we are gonna 
track inside the organization structure basically this is very important in the high level like if we have the data like director manager and resources and many more other informations and director wants to see that data then in the instead of this country we'll have the director so we can click on director then move to the manager then going forward we can add the notes as we want so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos and guys if you want the source file of this project so you can drop the email id on the comment box so i will send that file to you thank you so much guys for watching this video